Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and today we're going to talk about the iPad Pro. Hello guys, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions and today we're going to talk about the iPad Pro. What I got in front of me here is the MacBook Pro and the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 okay so let's talk about the iPad Pro you know because the iPad Pro looks like it's trying to compete with the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 okay because we're talking about price range okay so if you watch my uh, rant video that I did uh, uh, yesterday you notice that I talked really really bad about how Apple didn't innovate uh, we've been waiting on this iPad Pro to come out in the, for the last two years we had high expectations for this iPad Pro and what did Apple do to us they gave us a large iPad okay so let's do a recap okay the iPad Pro the iPad Pro is a 12.9 inch screen okay it's running iOS 9, not a full operating system, but a mobile operating system, okay? It, it comes in configurations of 32 and 128 gigs, okay? The 32 gig variant of the iPad Pro starts out at $799. The 128 gig iPad Pro starts at $949 and the 128 gig cellular version of the iPad Pro costs $1,079 okay so let's talk about that for a second okay now when you're talking about a thousand dollars for an iPad okay yes it's bigger okay you can get a uh, a MacBook Air for $999 that runs a full operating system and it comes with a keyboard okay so you know when you're talking about spending that type of money on an iPad the question remains why don't you just get a MacBook okay and so let's raise this up a little bit so we can get this in full shot and so you're saying, okay, let's go on and get a MacBook. But the iPad Pro is not competing with the MacBook. Look like it's competing with the Microsoft Surface Pro, or maybe the Surface, okay? Now, the Microsoft Surface itself costs $499, not the Pro, but the other one is $499, okay? Now, yes, it does not come with the, the keyboard, which is a, a optional, but you can put any Bluetooth keyboard to this if you want, okay? Now, it works great with the keyboard, but it looks like Apple is competing with the Surface Pro or maybe the Surface 3, okay? So, let's talk about that for a second. The Surface 3 or the Surface Pro 3 uh, has a full desktop operating system you could do anything you want you could download programs you could do anything you want yes if you buy the the, uh, the surface pro it comes with the pin it comes with the pin okay now if you buy the ipad pro for 799 dollars it does not come with the pin okay now the optional keyboard that this keyboard costs 129 dollars the keyboard that comes with the iPad Pro is $169. And the pin that the optional pin that comes with the iPad Pro costs $99. Now, so, you know, at the end of the day, I believe Apple is trying to compete with the Microsoft Surface. Now, if I was to spend a thousand dollars for the iPad Pro and I buy the keyboard for $169 and I get the pin, okay, that's 
Wow, what that's 1400 bucks with tax? $1,400 for an iPad with a keyboard and a pencil. Okay, they call it a pencil, not a pen. Okay, now for $1,400, you can get you a, a MacBook Pro for like $1,399 uh, or $1,499 to get a full operating system on it. You know, I, if you watch my rant video, and I don't want to go rant part two, but for some strange reason, did Apple lost his marbles here? You know, I mean, for a thousand dollars, you're getting an iPad? Listen, I would tell you that if I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars, I'm gonna get a real computer, okay? If I'm gonna spend a thousand dollars, I'm gonna get a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air. So something's kind of strange with this, this issue here that uh, Apple is coming out with. And so I just want to kind of clear it up because I had a, a couple of people twi uh, on Twitter and, and, uh, and asked me this question about the iPad Pro. Listen, the iPad Pro costs, the starting price is $799, $799, okay? And that's for 32 gigs. Listen, 32 gigs, let's put that in perspective there. By the time you get the iPad and the operating system, you may get 26 gigs. $800, you can get an i3 full operating system, Microsoft Surface, or you can get any PC you want for 700 bucks. You know, by the time you add tax and the keyboard and everything with the pencil and everything, the 799 is going to cost you over a thousand dollars. Okay, that's it, guys. That's it. That's all you get. I mean, yes, when you see the keynote, yes, they did split screen and all that good stuff like that. But for a thousand dollars, guys, I cannot, at this time, I cannot recommend the iPad Pro. Um, so, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think um, and what, what's going on with Apple. And I said it in my rant video. I need Apple to innovate. This, to me, is ridiculous, okay? Um, if I spend over $1,400, I'm getting a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. Matter of fact, I would get the MacBook Air for 900 bucks before I buy the iPad Pro. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. Come on, I mean, I, I, it's it's no way. I just don't see how could you justify a $800 price for the base model without the pen, without the keyboard. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. See you on the next video. Peace.